the Demolition Man, Reverend Williams, back on the scene. I got another drop for y'all today, but before that, I'm going to get into my honors like I do it. I give honors to the creator of the universe, the most high, the source of all things, who I refer to as the Elohim Jehovah Jah. I give honors to the angelistic spirits. I give honors to my ancestors and those who came before me. I give honors to my leader, my teacher, my master, Bishop Dwight E. Halcom, PhD, DD33. And with that being said, oh, and I give honors to all y'all, my supporters and subscribers, for remembering to tune in with me and um, staying tuned in and supporting me. And with that being said, I'm going to get into this video today. Um, but first, I want to address my situation right now. You know, I'm not in the usual setup that y'all used to it that y'all see me in because it's a lot going on um it's just a turning point right now so you know things is moving around people moving around you feel me so i'm in a transitioning period but uh with that being said we're gonna get into today's video and what i'm gonna be talking about in this video is uh giving back to caesar right now if you familiar, right, with the Bible, right, and you study the Bible, and, you know, I always say I'm not a religious person. I'm a spiritual person, you feel me? And I, I do it, delve into metaphysics, you feel me? So, anything I read, I read it from a metaphysical level, right, or from a spiritual understanding. I don't look at it as literal or... You feel me? As karma. You draw what I'm saying? So I know how to understand things from multiple levels, right? Whether it be the literal or allegorical or whatever. You feel me? So if you're familiar, right, with, with, with the New Testament, you know it's a part where, in the New Testament, where, um, you know, Yeshua, who they call Jesus, but Yeshua was teaching and he said, give back to Caesar what is Caesar's, right? So that's what we finna be, that's what we finna be understanding today, right? That's what we're building off of. Give back to Caesar what is Caesar's. Now, for y'all who don't know who Caesar was, right? Caesar was an emperor. He was a Roman emperor, right? So he basically wanted the people to worship him and serve him and the Roman state as if they were God, right? Which is what a lot of these governments today want. You feel me? So, these governments that run the earth, a lot of them want that. You feel me? They, they got that mentality. So, give back to Caesar what is Caesar's, right? Now, when we talking about give back to Caesar what is Caesar's, you can look at that from a literal level. But I told you, my channel, we about spiritual realization. You feel me? So, we gonna go deeper with this, right? Now, Caesar don't just mean a ruler of a of a government, right? Or just a man in power. What he represent is the dark forces that keep this world trapped in this cage or in this matrix or in this spider web, right? So Caesar represent everything that is put into place and created to keep you from your true spiritual self and your oneness and fellowship with God Almighty, the Most High. You feel me? Caesar represents every device and tactic, whether it be physical, mental, or spiritual, that is constructed to keep you from honoring your true spiritual self by being one with your creator and your source. You feel me? So, for example, right, you got niggas who think, um, you know, I need to be a savage. You feel me? I need to be like, all these niggas around me in my neighborhood that's really, you know, that's that that's 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 out here um catching bodies, right? Glorifying all this other stuff, right? And I'm not talking about the people that do this out of survival or because they push into stuff, but I'm talking about the people that actually romanticize murder, the people that romanticize materialistic things, right? You got young brothers that want to be like them. That's a device of Caesar because it keep you from realizing your real worth as a spirit being right so if we know you living in true harmony with your spirit nature and your and your god your source which is spirit you don't have no business thinking like that you feel me it's the same thing with with, with certain women now certain women think that they gotta put on you know that they always gotta have on weave or makeup or lashes or all this other 
added on artificial stuff to look cute, right? And I'm not talking about women. I'm not talking about women that 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 put it on, you know, for like occasions or you know that put it on for whatever reason they put it on. I'm I'm talking about people who think that these things make them beautiful, who think that these things make them because now you not in alignment with your true self. You don't know yourself, right? Because you steady looking at yourself as the name your mom and daddy gave you, as the body that you in, that you see when you look in the mirror, when that's not the real you. You was a divine spirit light taken forth from the heart of God Almighty himself. You feel me? So when you bow down to ideas like that, you living under Caesar, right? And you um feeding into all these false narratives and giving power to all these devices that and, and, and states of mind that this world have created to keep you enslaved from your true spiritual self and keep you a slave to your lower consciousness, right? Now, another thing, another another tool of Caesar, right? Money. People think without money, you not nothing. When we know in reality, money don't really get no value. Like we make money, we print money. You feel me? So how can something that we print that's that's paper be more valuable than us when we are living being in a body with all these different minerals and like rich things in our body especially if you are if you a melanated aboriginal you feel me like how can you make money more valuable than you or if you a woman who look at a man and be like oh that nigga don't got no money that nigga ain't got this that nigga ain't got, got that he ain't nothing or if you a man that look at a woman and, and it's like oh well she she ain't got this she don't look like this you feel me she ain't nothing like all of those is things that we need to let go and give back to Caesar or give back to the dark spiritual forces that keep this world in snare and in a trap in a mass state that we in. You feel me? Uh, another example, people that's over sexual and they make everything about sex and they just love sex. They think about sex all day long. You feel me? Like that's another, that's another, um, uh, another mass state of Caesar because Everything that's promoted out here is like, it's so sexual now. Like, it's so many things that get promoted, whether it be music, TV shows, all type of things in the media. And everything is just like so hypersexualized now. You need to get that out of your mind because it starts to twist and pervert your mind. And you don't have a normal functioning mind anymore. You feel me? So you need to let that go and get that back to Caesar, right? And this is the thing about meditating. Meditating teaches you how to master your man. And not only that, it teaches you how to let go of your man and show you that you are not your man. You not your thoughts. But your mind and your thoughts are tools that your being uses in order to navigate through this reality in this lifetime. You feel me? So you got to become the master of all of that, bro. You got to let that go and get that back to Caesar. Another example, right? People that get all this education and they go to these um top tier colleges and universities and and clubs and institutions they be so intellectual right they be so book smart right and it's like they think that that education that they receive from the institutions of this world is gonna help them to master this reality when the spirit of the universe will show you in a minute that, that education you got don't mean nothing because the spirit of the universe overrides anything, any institution that man set into place. So that's why I say in the Bible that the wisdom of God is foolish to man. Why? Because men rely on the wisdom of these institutions, right? And they don't rely on the wisdom of God or the things that the universal spirit teach you, right? Because the universal spirit will show you how to override a lot of things in this reality that doctors and scientists and and specialists say cannot be done because they not in alignment with their spiritual self. They don't know their true self. You feel me? They only know what this world have given them to add on to their self to know their self back. They don't know who they are. They still think that they is they name on that paper. They still think that they that body when they look in the mirror. They still think that they is that social media account. They still think that they is that address that come through the mail. That's not them. None of that is you. None of that is you. That's things added onto this body that people may get in contact with you and identify your spirit in a physical form. But that's not the real you. None of that is. And we need to give all of these mindsets, these states of mind, these 
false mentalities back to caesar give it back to the dark spiritual forces that you got this from because they do everything to keep you from your true divine self bruh they do everything to keep you out of that love truth peace freedom and justice you feel me they do everything to keep you from living who you supposed to be and if you really claim if you really claim that you follow the one that y'all call jesus right who who i call yeshua you would take up your cross every day and deny yourself and get to know your spiritual self. So all of this that I'm spitting to you is nothing new. This is stuff that's been passed down through the ages time and time again that people for some reason seem to keep forgetting. Why? Because you fell into the trap of Caesar. You fell into the mindset of Caesar. You was brought up by the rules and laws of Caesar. But now's your time to wake up and kill that. Kill that. Put that to death within yourself and take up your cross and crucify yourself in a sin just like Yeshua did. And you don't have to ascend in death. You can ascend in life. That's why I say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You draw what I'm saying? So let go, man. Let go. Give back to Caesar what is Caesar's. Give back to Caesar what is Caesar's. And let yourself be born from the spirit of God, from the spirit of the universe, the almighty. You feel me? The most gracious, most merciful. And with that being said, I'm out. Peace.